So we're gonna just ignore the balloons in the background behind me because I just filmed all what I got for my birthday video and I quite like the setup behind me. But right now I'm gonna be talking you through all of the new autumn launches, but not quite all of the autumn launches because there were a lot to choose from. Autumn is like one of my favorite months for new beauty releases but I've picked out my favourites and I'm going to talk you through them today and I'm going to get started with skincare. And the first one is one that I just needed to talk to you about. I've been wanting to talk about it for a really long time and I can't remember if I featured it in my September favourites. That's really silly that I can't remember what I featured in my favourites but I'm having a complete mind blank. And I don't think I did mention this even though I've been using it. It kind of is one of those new releases that I got very early on so you're never really sure of when it's actually available but I'm pretty sure it is available now. And this is the Sunday Riley Blue Moon Clay cleanser. This is the sample pot that I currently am working my way through before I get the full size. It smells weirdly chocolatey but it is just absolutely beautiful. In terms of the feel it's quite similar to the Oskia Renaissance cleansing gel when you're working it in but actually the initial texture of it is very reminiscent of the Clinique Take Off The Day Balm so if you're looking for a slightly cheaper alternative the Clinique Take Off The Day Balm is definitely one. But just without the fragrance and kind of extra added bits and bobs it's a very kind of basic cleanser but one that I actually love so I would recommend that as a cheaper but still high-end alternative to this one. I'm not sure if you can tell but with me and this cleanser it's most definitely love. I cannot wait to get my hands on the full size because that is going to be a great day people but this is an amazing cleanser. If you're into your high-end skincare I would definitely recommend giving this a try because it is absolutely gorgeous. Next up is a kind of skincare item, it's a bath item from Lush and I'm keeping it in the packet because I'm scared I'm going to get this all over my bed. This is their pink flamenco bubble bar and it is so so cute although mine is kind of teetering on the edge of its wooden stick and it's going to fall any minute. I was trying to take an Instagram of this yesterday and it was so so difficult trying not to drop it um, so I'm just going to pop that back in there. But it smells amazing, it's just got that typical Lush store scent. It's very sweet and kind of a bit citrusy, it just smells absolutely incredible. So I would definitely recommend picking this up from their new collection if you can because it smells so damn good and I just love the Lush bubble bars. They're one of my favourite items to get from Lush, although just make sure when you get one you don't have a wobbly stick because this is a serious situation here. I kind of feel like when I put this in my bath, the whole thing is going in with this one. So make sure you get one with a good stick. <laughs> Moving on to makeup, the next two items are from Kiko and these are part of their Rebel Romantic collection which I think is maybe a month or so old now. It's definitely not a specifically autumn launch but these have been kind of recently released and they are beautiful. These are the Intensely Lavish lipsticks. They come in rose gold packaging so I was all over that and these are just beautifully creamy, long-lasting, highly pigmented lipsticks. Kiko is one of those brands that's like at a really affordable price point but these do not feel budget at all. I absolutely love these, like I want the entire range of these lipsticks. They are beautiful, the packaging feels amazing, there is nothing that I can fault these on, they are perfect. Like it is serious love with these, especially this darker colour, I can't remember what number this is, I think it's 05. This is beautiful, it's like a gorgeous bright pinky ribena -y shade, it's beautiful, it's going to be so perfect for winter. And then they have 01 which is the kind of nude. It basically looks like saw lip pencil in a lipstick, it is so so gorgeous. So if you don't love lip liner and you love the colour of saw lip liner then go and pick this up because it is like spot on. I absolutely love this one. I wear this kind of just on a daily basis at the moment. Next up, I have two items from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been waiting to talk about for so long. Well, actually I've talked about them quite a lot before, but I've been waiting to put them in a new in video where I could actually say that they're available for a really, really long time. And the first item is the Magic Foundation, which you will have heard me talk about all summer because I've actually had this in a sample pot since March and I couldn't talk about it until July, that was when I started talking about it, so basically there has been a year of me wanting to say, you can buy this! And you finally can buy it, so it's all good. And this is a gorgeous kind of demi matte foundation, it gives a really luminous glowing look to the skin but without being dewy at all. It was a really great foundation for me over the summer when I get a little bit more oily because it kept things from looking too shiny, but I actually think I'm just going to love this all year round. It is the perfect foundation for me. I kind of wish it didn't have SPF in it because it's got like a really measly amount of SPF which is kind of annoying, it's SPF 15. I'm like either go all the way or don't do anything at all. 
That is my only gripe with this foundation though. It is absolutely gorgeous, seriously long wearing, really kind of perfecting on the skin. Sometimes I don't even feel like I need to wear concealer after using this. I just absolutely love it. I have the shade 5, which is a perfect colour match for me at the moment. So I love that. And then I also have the mini Miracle Eye Wand, which I've been waiting to go on sale for so long because I've been using it for ages and you guys haven't been able to get your hands on it. But it is finally available and I absolutely love this. The eye cream on it is amazing. It's really kind of like plumping. Um, is plumping the right word? It just feels like it's kind of given some life back to this area and it's really brightening. It's also really soothing and the concealer itself is very brightening, high coverage, like everything you want in a concealer, this does. I love it. I have no idea when everything's gonna run out because a double-ended thing, it's like how much product is actually in there. But so far, so good. I absolutely love this. I have shade two. I don't think there's the best shade range in this collection um, because I kind of feel like shade one is gonna be way too pale for me and this is kind of borderlining. So I know I've mentioned it before, but I just wanted to mention again in case you guys haven't seen one of my previous videos where I talked about this, Revlon have introduced a few new shades to their matte color burst balm range. And my favorite one is the shade Enchanting, which is gorgeous. If you really liked their kind of lightest nude shade in the range then you will really like this one. If you found that the lightest shade was a bit too light for you then you're gonna love this one. Apart from that nothing has really changed in the range apart from a couple of new shades but I just thought I'd give it a quick shout out because the slightly darker nude is kind of life-changing for me. I love these products so much and to have a shade for me that is now the perfect nude is so so exciting because these are just some of my favorite drugstore products ever. And the previous nude was just slightly too light for me, so I love, love, love this. Next up, I have a few new loves from Illamasqua, and if you've seen my recent video, I'm sure you'll be able to guess what they are. The first one I'm wearing, and this is one of their new, I think they're the Glamorous lipsticks in the shade Vega. And this is just a gorgeous kind of dark, berry, reddy, browny, purple, one of those gorgeous kind of autumnal wintry colours. It's creamy, it's long lasting, it's completely gorgeous. This is just going to see me straight through the autumn and winter months. I absolutely love this. I've worn this almost daily since I got it and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's basically like a more moisturising version of the Kate Moss Rimmel 107 lipsticks. So if you like that but didn't like how very very matte it was, I would definitely recommend checking this out. I wear it with a matte lip liner underneath and it just kind of makes it stay forever so I've been loving this. That is a gorgeous shade. And then I also have their Broken Gold Eye Glitter which is gorgeous. It's kind of like the foiled gold effect. It is so, so beautiful. I use this in my birthday makeup tutorial, so I will link that below if you want to go and see that on the eyelids because it is so, so beautiful. This collection from Illamasqua has just been absolutely stunning. I love everything in it. These are definitely two of my favourites from the entire range for autumn, and these are out on the 15th of October, which is why you can't see them online yet. Lots of you, when you saw me use this in my birthday makeup tutorial, were like, are you sure you got the shade right? I definitely did. They're just out on the 15th of October. October, so go and get your hands on these because these are gorgeous. And the next products are super exciting because my friend Fleur has actually just launched her makeup line and she has some really gorgeous products which I wanted to talk to you about today. The first one is her lip gloss and this is in the shade Lucky Star which is a gorgeous kind of bright red. This is so beautiful. I think this will be a really gorgeous one to pop over a red lip for the festive season. I am a massive fan of the Rimmel Apocalypse lip lacquers and I always end up using those over the festive season so this is just definitely going to be my go-to kind of red lip gloss to put over my red lipstick for Christmas time. I think this is beautiful. And then she's also released a few eyeshadow palettes and this one is one of my favourites. It's in the shade Cosmic Bronze and this just has gorgeous matte neutral shades and then one kind of very beautiful shimmery satiny kind of shade. The shadows in it are just a really beautiful quality and it's just kind of the perfect everyday palette. So those are out now and available on Feel Unique. And then I'm ending things with another palette that is out for autumn and this one is by Givenchy and it is so gorgeous. It's their metallic reflection palette and this is 
stunning. I absolutely love this. It's a palette full of shimmery shades in really gorgeous autumnal colours, but the shades are actually kind of quite sheer, which I think is a nice change because lots of palettes now have gorgeous autumnal colours and they're all very, very pigmented, but these kind of give a really beautiful wash. So if you are looking to kind of experiment with some colour over the autumn season, but you don't want to go kind of full on and you don't want it to kind of go a bit wrong, I think investing in something that is actually slightly more sheer can sometimes be a really great thing because you can't really go wrong with them. There's a gorgeous kind of ready, garnety pink and then some gorgeous purple colours as well like taupey purples and the lightest shade is kind of a pink iridescent shimmery shade. It's just so beautiful, I love this a lot. I'm wearing the kind of shimmery pink shade today on my eyelids and it's just a really wearable everyday shadow, it is beautiful. And that is it for new launches today and that is it from me as well. I hope you guys like this, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in my next video, bye.